All right, this time on our Sinclair Engine Masters project, we've got the uh, block cleaned up, line honed, and we're ready to go ahead and square deck the block, set the deck height on the block, and then we'll bore it out, and we'll be well on our way to uh, getting this thing done. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, what we're going to do next is we're going to set the deck height and square the deck of the block to each other at a 90 degree angle based off of what our uh, line honed crankshaft uh, area was. And what I've done here is I've set up this bar in our sun and surface machine. We have a couple of adapters here that mimic what the diameter of the crankshaft uh, main bearing bores would be. Uh, I got an indicator on the head of the machine here and we have a squaring fixture on the front. Basically we're going to square the deck based off of what we set the mains at and that'll make that a perfectly 90 degree angle and then off of that we can also set the deck height of the engine. Okay, what Jim is doing now is he's actually checking the current deck height of the engine. We'll do front to rear on both banks, find out which one is at the lowest measurement, and then we'll start off of, off of that side of the block for the machining process. Um, this is a really just a preliminary uh, squaring and decking of the block. For this particular competition, we're actually going to set the block deck height after we pre-assemble assemble the engine. Uh, so that we can get the absolute optimum deck clearance for, for a rotating assembly. Okay, we've made our first cut on our block. Um, what you can see is that it's pretty close to being uh, parallel to the, to the squaring fixture. There's some areas on the outside of the block there that still need to be machined. You can see right there in the middle that it's actually hitting all the way across, but not on each end. That's pretty typical of an engine that's been in service for a while and never been machined before. So we'll go ahead and take another cut, probably a couple thousand, so clean it up. We'll remeasure it, and then we'll set the other deck to the height of this deck. got the decks of the block squared and set the deck height from just a little bit under 8200 which is a stock specification for this engine. Again, after we do our pre-assembly, we will check the deck height again and our goal here is to set it at zero. So there might be a little bit more material that we want to cut off. But our next step here that we're going to do is we're actually going to rough pull the block and get it ready to uh, finish the our home. So what we got to do is we're going to put all these main caps back on and our girdle and everything and set everything to specification that stresses the block as if it was assembled and gives a truer surface to, to set the soil bore off of as well as the soil at home. So we're going to put this girdle on and then we'll get over here to the board. All right, uh, we've uh, got our block deck and uh, deck, hat, deck height preliminarily set. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bore this block. And our finished board is going to be 4.030 inches. However, we're going to rough bore to about 4.025. We're going to leave about 5 thousandths of material in the hole. So that when we take it over to the cylinder head, we can actually set the piston wall clearance to where we want it to be. So, uh, got the machine set up, uh, the cutter bit set up and ready to go, and we'll get to it. So, here we go.
All right, that's going to wrap up this episode of our St. Clair Engine Masters project. We've got the uh, deck squared and preliminary deck height set. We've also bored all eight cylinders to just about 5,000 cylinder size so we can finish on it. And that's going to be our next step. So the next time we, we meet, we're going to have uh, we're going to be honing the block to its finished dimension. And we'll also be starting on the cylinder heads as far as set to doing the valve job on the heads. And, and that'll begin uh, that process as well. So we'll see you next time. By the way, this is Mark Thomas. He's one of our students. He's built a, an old school flathead Ford engine last year, and he's going to take the class again this year. He's kind of bit by the bug that we all share, so he's going to be helping us out through the project. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>